Hello and welcome to this edition of Our Kitchens. I'm Leanne Cordisco, co-owner of Christine's Gourmet Toffee and Chocolatering Cafe. We're here in the Chocolatering Cafe kitchens and finally I'm going to make for you something with chocolate in it. Today's uh, uh, dessert is an individual molten lava chocolate cake or it can also be considered a poor man's chocolate souffle. It's a one pot wonder, it's super easy to make, and the key to success of this recipe relies on one thing, the quality of the chocolate that you put into this. Because there's more chocolate than anything else in this recipe, the quality of the chocolate is really important. So buy better chocolate for this, buy the best chocolate that you can, and that's pretty much going to ensure that you're gonna have a terrific recipe. So, let's get started with preparing our ramekins or souffle cups. I've got an eight ounce souffle cup here that I've already wiped the inside of it with butter. And now all I'm going to do is finish preparing this with a little bit of sugar. And I'm rolling the sugar around inside the souffle cup. That's going to help the cake from sticking to the side of the souffle cup. And that's prepared and ready to go. I've got a couple of these ready to go. Now we're just going to put them off to the side. I've also got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. Sure that temperature seems pretty high, but it's necessary to get the outside of the cake to cook while the inside is going to stay molten and gooey and yummy. So let's actually make the batter now. Into the bowl of a stand mixer, I'm going to put three tablespoons of unsoften unsoftened, unsalted softened butter. The softened part is really important. That's going to help the butter get incorporated into the other ingredients pretty quickly and give us uh, a good consistency. I've got two-thirds of a cup of granulated sugar into the bowl. I've got just a pinch of salt and that goes and four eggs. They can go right in. Now, we're going to mix this to uh, a state called the ribbon phase. And what that means is that we're going to mix up the, uh, the eggs until they lighten up um, and get a little bit fluffy and make a ribbon as they fall off of the beater of the stand mixer. I'll show you what that looks like in two or three minutes after the blending has happened. Start the blender kind of slowly so it doesn't make a mess. And after a few seconds, turn the speed on a little bit higher. And then let it go for two or three minutes until it looks like a ribbon. Okay, we're just about at the ribbon stage. Let me show you what this looks like. I think we're ready to move on to the next step. Take a look at the texture and the consistency that we have here. The ingredients are fully incorporated. You can see that the butter and the sugar and the eggs have all come together. And um, as this drips down into the bowl, uh, it's forming almost like a ribbon where it folds back and forth uh, on itself. So once you hit this consistency, we're ready to add the rest of the ingredients. So we're now going to add cake flour, one half of a cup of cake flour. Now you might be wondering what's the difference between all-purpose flour and cake flour. Cake flour has less gluten in it, which means that it's not going to um, uh, get chewy and get that kind of like firm consistency like bread. We want this to be lighter and fluffier. Now cake flour is made by harvesting spring wheat rather than fall wheat. So the wheat is younger and softer. It hasn't had time to firm up so much throughout the summer. It hasn't had time to mature. There's also more moisture in it. It ends up, ends up making a, a slightly softer flour, less gluten, perfect for this recipe. We're gonna put it in a little bit at a time. Turn the mixer on slowly so that you don't get cake flour all over the kitchen and all over you. Let that incorporate, add a little bit more. Again, turn the mixer on slowly. And now for the last of it.
Once the flour has been incorporated, we only have two more ingredients. The first is one teaspoon of vanilla. In it goes. The last ingredient is 12 ounces of the best chocolate that you can get. I'm using Calibo Belgian Dark Chocolate. I really like this chocolate. It's affordable and delicious. Here at Chocolatarian, here's what our melted chocolate looks like when the dish just gets mixed in. I'd recommend doing this with the blender off. And now let's mix that to incorporate the ingredients. Here's what the batter looks like. I'm going to use an ice cream scoop to get this into our ramekins. You can try pouring it. Um, you can try using a couple of spoons uh, to push it into the ramekin cup. You'll see that it's a really thick, fudgy batter. That's why I think the ice cream scoop works really well. <clears throat> I'm going to flatten this down with a wee little spatula. Okay, and this is ready to go into the oven. I'm going to put it on a sheet pan. That'll make it easier to remove uh, once this thing is done. It's going to go into the oven for about 18 minutes at 400 degrees. Eighteen minutes is up and our dessert is done. Let's pull her out of the oven and see how she looks. It looks beautiful. So earlier I called this a poor man souffle. Now you can see why. Uh, we got nice lift out of the ramekin because of how we work those eggs. The, the cake texture is gonna be light and wonderful and the inside of this is gonna be molten and golden. You can choose to cut around this with a knife and then um, put it down to a separate plate if you wish or you can serve it right from here. And I think that's what we're going to do. This ramekin is still a little hot, so I'm just gonna put it onto a serving plate. And it can be finished with some raspberry puree, the kind you find at the secondhand store. No joke, too small. <laughs> and Just to go over the top, a little whipped cream. I wish you were here right now to try this. Mm. This is terrific. It's fun to make. It's easy to make. It looks like a million bucks. And this is our individual molten lava chocolate cake. So I'm Leanne Cordisco for Our Lives Magazine. Please come back and visit us again in our kitchens.